中文怎么说 ？Josh flavor. Who can help him out, Luke? Cold way. Cold way. And how? Um, how is it? <coughs> I'm Natalie Sayers and I'm a Mandarin and French teacher at Dartford Grammar School. I decided after my A-levels that I wanted to study Chinese at university along with French. So I went to Newcastle University to study Chinese and as part of my degree course I, was, I studied in Beijing for a year. Kusha's classrooms are a set of classrooms around the UK that are recognised for their teaching of Chinese in the, in the country and because of the development that we've um, had in the school of Chinese and our provision of Chinese to other schools in the region, we were recognised for our teaching of Chinese. I try to use a range of resources in my teaching every, every lesson, uh, particularly with the, the students being boys, they like it's good to keep them busy, so anything that can be kinesthetic, um, working in pairs or working in groups, gets them enthused with the language, so usually I'll try and make sure that I'm using, um, practicing three different skills, so speaking, listening, writing or reading throughout the lesson. They absolutely love learning Chinese at this school. Um, they find the characters very different to European languages that they also study and they find that really interesting and engaging, particularly with looking for the pictures in the characters and writing the characters out. Because we do a lot of interactive group work in the lessons, they also enjoy working with each other. Personally, I think learning the, learning the more modern languages helps much more in day-to-day -day life when you're older, especially when maybe Chinese would help more in the, in the financial world more than certain other languages would. And I think learning a more character-based language where they're so-called pictures rather than words would help a lot more when it comes to learning facts and, facts and data later in life more than just characters and words in a language. I think there's a lot of fantastic ways now that people can learn Chinese particularly using the internet and using a lot of different podcasts that are available online. If I'd also suggest that they get in touch with a number of the different schools in their region because a lot of schools will um, provide outreach support for anybody in the, in the community that would like to study Chinese. And I know at this school we provide extra support for adults and parents of students at the school that would like to learn, learn Chinese.